Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Luki, and I'm going to be showing you guys a new little video tutorial today on the Arc Dev Kit on how to make your own sort of uh, resource. Um, this will work for generally any resource, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to be doing the um, an ingot uh, of some sort, so like a metal. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started on that. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder called, uh, we'll call it iron, well, we'll call it copper, just because it's a different color ingot and then we're going to go to the game and search for primal item resource ooh there's a lot of them forget uh ingot no metal there we go so we got the metal and the metal ingot so we're going to go ahead and drag those into my mod copper ingot we're going to copy them All right, and now we got that. So we're going to go ahead and look at the reference viewer of the um, ingot and see a ton of stuff. We're going to go down to, this is all the stuff you can craft. This is where it goes to the uh, forge inventory. Where else? Looking for the, I'll just get the Ingram, it's not a big deal. Actually, I don't think we need Ingrams for this, never mind. This is an easy one. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the Copper Ingot folder and see our new stuff. And we're going to rename these to Copper Ingot. Well, just Copper for the first one. Underscore my mod. I've gotten lazy about that lately and I've been doing it in my own mod. and got myself confused a couple times, so it's always helpful to do that. We're going to rename this one Copper Ingot and my mod. Ooh. Upper ingot underscore my mod. Alright, so now we see we have two of these. Um, this is your um, copper or your um, actual the ore, and then this is going to be your ingot. The, uh, the ore is the one without the word ingot in it, kind of obviously. But uh, as you see here, if we have the descriptive name, we'll just name it copper. Um, can be forged in a campfire. Um, we're going to make this um, forge, like, uh, what do you call it, smeltable in the uh, campfire that I previously made in a previous video, so we can build on that. Let's see what else we need here. Nothing. Alright, so then we're going to be compile that and save it. So we're going to go to the Primal Item Resource Copper Ingot. Go all the way down, rename it Copper Ingot. Campfire. I'm going to go down to base crafting resources. We see it's where it says metal. Instead, we're going to reference it to our copper. So now we've got the copper there. And it'll take two copper ink. Well, we can take make it take three, just for the hell of it. Uh, we're going to leave the icon and everything the same. Not going to mess with it. We're going to make it stack to, I don't know, we'll say 150, just to make it different. Make it stack to wherever you want. So yeah, your stack size is here. Um, where it makes the max item quantity, and your item quantity is how much it'll make after it's smelted. So say it takes three, but we're going to make it um, make two. So it's going to be three requirement for the ore, but only it'll make two ingots, and it'll stack up to 150. And that's a, a kind of important bit of information. The blueprint craft time to craft is how long it takes for it to smelt. So let's say we want to make it take 10 seconds instead of 20. Uh, this is how much XP it gives you. Obviously, you can make that whatever you want. Time for full repairs useless. Um, we can make the weight different if we'd like. We can go to item stat infos and go to weight. Then you can instead of it being, um, I believe that's instead of it being one there you can adjust that. I think that's where you adjust it but for some reason I feel like it's not. I don't know. Don't take my word for that. Alright so we're gonna go ahead and compile that and save it. So now that we've done that, we gotta we have to reference it to the campfire, like where we're gonna cook it. So um, in here, I believe actually, if you go back to copper ingot, you scroll down, you're gonna see. Whoa, brace crafting resources. You're gonna see craft. Uh, oh, there's no crafting inventory components. Never mind. Sorry. So we're gonna go to campfire, campfire. Um, the primal inventory BP. We're gonna scroll down to. Where is it? 
remote add item only allow item classes and we're going to add a new one and that's going to be for the copper not the ingot because we're going to be putting the copper in there we're not going to be putting copper ingots in there so we're only putting copper in there so we're just going to add the copper okay we got that and then we're going to go down to default inventory items so like basically this is the stuff you receive after but you can't place cooked meat into the campfire but it's okay if it automatically gets there because it's cooked so we're going to add the copper ingot um, blueprint to that one so there we go um, and that should be about it um, actually I do believe we may need to add one more ingram to it not absolutely positive but for some reason I feel like I should alright that looks good sorry this uh, unfortunately was a little bit of a cluttered um, video but it should get the do job done in the end. Where is it? Oh, covering it. Okay, everything should be good. So we'll go ahead and try playing it. You don't need to add anything to your primal game data BP. Actually, that's a lie. You definitely do, because now you can't. There's no way you can mine the copper, so it's gonna be impossible to test if it works. So we're gonna go to the primal game data BP. And if you scroll down to where it says primary resources. This is all the resources it gives you during the give resources command. So we're going to give ourselves, make it to where we give ourselves um, copper as well. So we're going to go back to our copper, find the copper, put it there, click compile, save it. Always remember to compile and save. Alright, we're going to give ingrams, give resources. Now we should have our um, campfire my bot right here. This is our copper right here. It doesn't look copperish because I didn't change the icons. But uh, we should be able to place this in here. We can. So it looks so far so good. We're going to light this. And in about 10 seconds, it should cook us a copper ingot. Actually, it should take three of this and cook two. Hey, it worked. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys some other stuff you can do with this. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys in, in future videos how to actually put copper on the, um, the map like new resources on the map without breaking the map if for um, other mods. So there is a way you can add map extensions with your own stuff without breaking the map. So first of all we're going to go back to the copper ingots and we're going to go to the copper and one quick way to adjust this is you can go ahead and click on um, search for that in the browser drag it to your mod, where is it? The copper ingot, copy it and now we can adjust this, we can, uh, we'll make the I know the saturation when it's, uh, what is it, uh, the hue, it's when it's 350, it's orangish, maybe I was wrong, 330, a little more orangish, 340, then we're going to add up the saturation, there we go, that's a decent copper, well, copper looking thing, it's not perfect, but uh, we are doing this the lazy way, ooh, that was not the right number. Oh well, there's no reason to be a perfectionist on this, because this is just for video. But you can adjust that number until you get it right. 320, good enough. Um, save that. Uh, remember to rename it. I'm going to be lazy and not rename it. But uh, don't be lazy. Don't do as I do, do as I say. There we go. So now when we start up our game and give ourselves the resources, you'll see the copper ingot has the right icon. Um, and other things we can do with this, let's think, uh, we can obviously make weapons out of this, we can make all kinds of different stuff, I'll be showing that in, um, in the next few videos, so everything's going to be kind of linked from here on out, so if you want to make your own special weapon with your own special resource, you're going to need to watch these next few, um, and, the, and if you're starting a little late, you need to go, go back and go to the campfire so that you're able, you're able to uh, understand what's going on, remember to make sure you save everything. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.